VTAG or email parser is a tool designed to extract the information from the email body and using that information create certain records in VTiger. Let's take a look at the configuration first. So this is the queue of the email parser. It can be accessed through the CRM settings once the extension is installed. Now these are records showing us that we have three emails that are in the queue. They came from support, were sent to a certain email address, have a subject, and certain rules will be applied once we process those. So the way it works is it parses the email body and creates a record in VTiger. Let's take a look at an example. Perhaps I'm going to switch to my other screen which has an email body open. So this is the email that comes from Hutchbuck which is marketing automation tool and it has a first name, last name, basically a new lead filled out a web form and this is how we get the information from Hutchbuck. Now if we wanted to take all of this information and create a VTiger lead record we could do that with the email parser. So let's go back to our VTiger area. So the email parser has rules that we can configure to parse that email. So let's go ahead and go to rules. And we already created a rule that will allow us to do so. So we also have one for ticket and we have a few custom rules available. To create a new rule, you would just hit new rule, put in the name of the rule. You either want to update or create a record based on the email information and then you select which module it should apply to. I'll just go back to our rule list, select the new lead, that's the one that we're using and basically what this gives you is identifier which is the first name ends with the line break and will map the information that will be parsed to the lead's first name, same applies to the last name etc. So, so I switch back to my email again you can see we have first name, last name, email and then in VTiger that's how it's mapped. You can also do ends with space or you can also do advanced options which will be covered in another video. I'll go ahead and hide that for now. If I scroll down you can see I left few fields empty however I set the value on the last column which means every new record created will have the status of not contacted and the source will be website and you can always add additional mapping or delete the rule. So now that we created mapping um, let's go back and see how the email will get into this queue. So if you're familiar with VTiger you might have looked at the mail converter which is a basic version of email parser essentially. You would set up your account that would be used to retrieve all the emails from a certain source and then you would create rules for each email. So in this case we created this rule which is for our Hutchbuck email. So if the subject contains Hutchbuck sample all conditions have to be met and this is where we select the custom email parser rule. You can also use the rules that come standard with VTiger and then down below are the rules that are custom for the email parser. And you can create as many rules as you would like. See we have one for new sign up and then we have for new ticket. So as we scan this mailbox it will check for all the emails that were sent to this email account that contain the subject of Hutchbuck, new sign up, or a HubSpot ticket. And once it finds those emails, it will create an email parser record. I'll just go back to email parser. And the record will be created with the status new. And if I were to open this record, I would see that we have the rule that's been applied this for new lead. We have the 
body which gets converted into the plain text so we can easily parse it so this is where you would create the mapping so first you send yourself a sample email and then based on this field you can then create the mapping and down below we have the header information and the HTML body of the email which is not currently being used so now if I go back to my email parser and if I run the cron which will then take this new record and then create a new lead out of it so if I hit run cron it processes it status change to processed and if I open it I can see that the fields that we parsed using that rule are set right here that's for troubleshooting purposes and if I go to my marketing and leads I can see that this lead was created using the mapping that we created from that email. If I go to details we have the phone, email, so basically it took the information from this email, parsed it, and eventually created a new lead record. So it'll help you to eliminate manual data entry, improve accuracy, and automate the entire process. Let's go back to the email parser for a few more seconds. In the rules, we have a few custom rules that allow you to create contact and opportunity or do an update as well. So each rule can be configured with certain options and it's very flexible as far as the configuration goes. We have extensive guide how each field and rule can be configured, so feel free to check out that. And then lastly, this process can be automated. It's as simple as using the scheduler. Once you set it up, you'll set up your mail scanner to run every, say, 15 minutes. And then the email parser, which is the mail converter, can be also set up to run automatically. And then the whole process will run on its own and create records as needed.